Hello everyone and welcome to Autotech channel. Today we will present together the three main types of hybrid vehicles. While nearly everyone has heard of hybrid vehicles, most people are actually unaware of the various types out on the market. We'll take a look at the three main types of hybrid vehicles and describe what makes each of them unique. Mild hybrids is one of the newest innovations in hybrid technology. A mild hybrid system typically isn't going to propel the vehicle on power. The system is used to give a small boost to the vehicle's gasoline engine, typically upon acceleration from a dead stop, and to assist in removing the burden of power-hungry systems, such as air conditioning, on the gasoline engine. Normally found in the form of 48-volt electric systems, mild hybrids do not need to be plugged in. Instead, the batteries are recharged through a combination of power from the gasoline engine, and energy recovered when the vehicle brakes, also known as regenerative braking. Like mild hybrids, full hybrid vehicles also come equipped with both a gasoline engine and an electrical component. However, the electrical component in a full hybrid vehicle is capable of handling far more of the workload than that of a mild hybrid. When it comes to full hybrid vehicles, there are two main types of powertrains, parallel hybrids and series hybrids. With parallel hybrids, the engine can be powered in one of three ways, directly by the engine, directly by the electrical motor, or by both systems working together. In a series hybrid, the wheels are powered solely via the electric motor, with the gasoline engine providing power for the electric motor, sort of like a generator. The gasoline engine never actually powers the wheels. With advances in hybrid technology, some vehicles operate as a combination of the two, series parallel, hybrids, with the onboard computer system choosing the most efficient way to operate at any given all of the hybrid vehicles that we have discussed thus far charge their batteries solely through internal means. The main difference with plug-in hybrids is that these vehicles can charge their batteries via external chargers as well as internal. As a result, plug-in hybrids usually have greater electric-only ranges than full hybrids. Plug-in hybrids essentially serve as a halfway point between full hybrid vehicles and fully electric vehicles. Those are all the commonly used hybrid systems in the market. Thank you for watching. Relax and subscribe to our channel for more videos.